Hello everyone. Attacks on Ukraine, specifically Ukraine's capital Kiev and other civilian targets continue. Just today, at least 76 missiles were launched at Ukraine. Um, the attacks were across the country, but like I said, um, this includes Kiev, which is interesting because Russian political pundits keep saying that Kiev is sacred. You know, there's some uh, holy relics, there are some sacred sites in Kiev, uh, but nevertheless, apparently, uh, Russian army has no trouble shelling it. So Moscow is also using 295 strategic bombers, which is the first time uh, during the course of war. And again, anyone at this point who says, well, we shouldn't give Ukraine more sophisticated, more long-range weapons, just look at this. Look at what is happening right here, right now. Kiev subway had shut down. Um, I'm not sure whether they're allowing people to use it as a bomb shelter during shellings. I will check with the uh, folks that I stay in touch with and see if they know about this. And uh, hospitals currently rely on backup generators uh, as they continue treating patients and conducting surgeries. Uh, during some of the blackouts, when the generators did not kick in for some reason or were damaged, uh, surgeons had to continue surgeries uh, using flashlights. At least two people were killed and eight people injured in the uh, city of Krivi another civilian target attacked by the Russians. And... There is now some intelligence chatter about a possible offensive in the next year. Folks, governments of the world, please help Ukraine end this war. Russia is not going to stop either until they literally run out of people to send or until they invade everything they want to invade. If you don't see it by now, you haven't been paying attention for years. Case in point, how many more people have to be displaced, hurt, killed? How many more cities have to be literally wiped out the face of the earth for it to kick in that Russia is a destructive terrorist state and it will not stop on its own? Thank you for watching.